And um, first of all, I would like to introduce ourselves a little bit, briefly. So we are Szövetség 39 from Budapest. It's a, it's a small artist group uh, with, um, with some very special features. So you can see the, the three different fields of our, our work, actually. Um, we made, uh, first of all, we made design um, pieces uh, and we tried to mix the traditional craft with uh, some new technologies. And uh, we, we mainly do architectural scaled uh, design, like facades or some interior design pieces. And the other, other uh, line is uh, the field of public art pieces. Uh, they are something like in interventions or some, uh, some, also some, something like media facade works, but they are very um, um, mixed with, uh, with handcraft. And the other main point is uh, education. We, we made workshops and we work with students a lot, so we try to share our knowledge about these topics. And, uh, and um, the project that we made here in Helsinki and uh, two weeks before in London, uh, it is something that mixed the whole of our, our, uh, our fields of art and, uh, and our thinking. And, uh, and my, my colleague will speak about uh, the conceptual background and um, and about a little bit the technology also of this project. So, uh, basic uh, the base of of the whole concept is like uh, people and their contact in in the cities and the urban environment and in uh, deeper level. Uh, contact and interaction in general between people. So, uh, they people usually create a physical connection. Uh, actually, when they don't touch themselves, but uh, they are in the same area, the same space, the proximity is uh, changing the behavior and the presence of, of uh, someone. So, we were thinking about to catch this uh, space through sound because sound is uh, constructed of waves which is around us and uh, it even alters our behavior if we go to someone to closer and uh, we speak differently if we are close to someone or if we are in a distance. So it can represent very well this uh, distance between the people and uh, between the environment. And this whole concept of uh, trying out this distance uh, can cause a diffusion of these fields which are uh, in between us. So this term, uh, field diffusion, uh, was first used by uh, Kim Cascone, a uh, sound uh, designer, and we made some work before together and came up with this concept of uh, uh, diffuse the fields, the different sound fields, which can uh, be... Uh, we can think of it as a contextual uh, replacement of sound. So we go around in the city and uh, grab the sound that might be interesting uh, related to that city, which is relevant to that city, and try to bring those sounds and focus them into one specific place where the event will take, uh, people take part in, uh, in the event. So first we go around in the city and grab the sounds, and we believe that uh, these sounds can... Uh, get the, the um, aspects and the mood of the local communities and uh, which is really related to the location if it's nearby a sea just like Helsinki or if it has a river like Budapest or London. So we try to reflect to the ro local community from our perspective and let the people, when they are interacting with the sound, let them uh, experience their own and other uh, cities and compare. So, uh, in the installation, what we set up yesterday, uh, people could try this out uh, by becoming the carriers uh, for these sounds because uh, 
we made some small sound devices that are continuously playing black, back these sounds and the people are altering the, the, um, these sounds by moving around in the space in, in between some certain locations. So this, um, you can see these areas that uh, people might have around them. So everyone uh, should have uh, at least these three spheres when they go around like a so, uh, social sphere when we are uh, in a big distance from the other and then it can become more personalized when we go to a few meters to each other and then there is the intimate space. So this is just a very basic reduction of this whole situation but uh, this can be uh, nicely give back and uh, try out with sounds. So this was our fir first concept to use uh, mobile technology with GPS to track the people and alter the sounds. But then um, this project uh, went into a different uh, direction. So instead of using pre-made technology that you can buy in the shops and you, can, uh, you must uh, connect to a global uh, networking system instead of a local intimate space, uh, we changed our mind during the process. And, uh, we ended up with building uh, these devices, so not using the cheap uh, Chinese phones uh, with the bad GPS signals, which is always like uh, uh, connected to some other network that we are not really know uh, what's happening on the network. So we made our own network of devices. So we built some small sound uh, objects that are connected uh, with the radio signal and uh, they can talk with each other so they can tell the distance how far they are from each other. And they all have uh, speakers uh, in them, built in them and some sound playback uh, with, where we record the sound and uh, the sound, play, the playing back of the sound is altered by, based on these distances. So here in Helsinki, we shift, uh, shifted to uh, earphones instead of speakers because we had this uh, experience in London that uh, when we bring it to a festival, there are so many concerts around, so many noise, so we always have to make changes. So it's really a work in progress project, which will change a lot in the different locations that we have. So first, we had uh, in Greenwich, in London, uh, the first session was like a very industrial. Greenwich Zone is very industrial, so we went around and recorded like uh, uh, very site-specific sounds, which is uh, related um, to Greenwich. But also the sound recording and find the exact uh, locations that we are interested in is part of the process. So it's really more about the process than the ending result. And these are the locations that we found and collected uh, these sounds, which then the people get in their objects and they carry these around in a different sound field, a very small scale sound, sound field where the actual installation is then. And now in Helsinki, um, we found much more different sounds. For example, we went to this uh, Chapel of Silence and uh, to different uh, islands and uh, we were trying to grab uh, very uh, specific sounds that are related uh, to Helsinki. So I, I can show you uh, the London experience because apart from this um, on-site event, there is an ongoing process on the web where you can, uh, you can listen to these sound fields uh, as an interactive application and uh, we would like in the long term uh, make a comparison of the cities where you can uh, experience the complex sounds of the cities. Okay, thanks. So uh, you will be able, and actually now you are able to go to the website uh, and um, experience the sound, the ever-changing sound field that the people created. So uh, this was the London event where these nodes are the people who are walking around. Uh, at the event, we were trying to log the position of the people, but uh, we had some issues with the technology. So these are now randomly moving, but here in Helsinki, we could make the logging of the people. So you will be able to grab the position of the people and, and you, have a, you have a parallel uh, representation of the actual site virtually. 
So now this is just about the moving and fusing the sounds together, and you can hear these sounds. And uh, all the sounds are written. So you can, you can try out and mix as we were mixing them on site, these sounds. You can have a grasp of, of this uh, feeling. So the distance of these nodes are bringing more louder and more uh, uh, harsh. They are opening the sounds if they get close one note to another. Yeah, so you can you can see it uh, uh, on the website, and you will also uh, see the result that we are making this research on. Uh, try to uh, figure out how differently the people are moving. So maybe there are some differences between different locations, how people behave with uh, an installation like that. So it's about the contact uh, between the people in their urban space. So it's really a working process. Maybe uh, you will see later in Budapest we have another uh, uh, setup and then also in, uh, in, in Kosice in, in Slovakia in the autumn. So we will continue work on it. Thank you for your attention. So are you going to video document the Helsinki experience yesterday or are we going to get video online or? Uh, yeah, we will, we will okay. have, uh, not yet, they are not online, but we, we have some video documentation, so also. Okay. okay. Any question? Oh.